Hi there, this is Andrew Jobling, the accidental author. I'm very excited to be sitting here about to introduce another first time author, um, a young man uh, who has, uh, has written an amazing book. His name is Rocco Carrizzolo, and he's written a book called Never Alone, and it's his first book, and it's pretty exciting stuff. So just want to say, g'day Rocco, how are you? Very well, Andrew. Nice to speak to you. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the copy of my book. So here we are. And, well done, uh, mate. It's a very, very, very nice uh, way of just uh, yeah, being able to do something like that. So it's, yeah. Uh, so Rocco, um, tell us, firstly, tell us a little bit about the book. What's the book about? Um, and then, then we'll sort of get into it a little bit further. So tell us a little bit about the book. Uh, well, the book is about... Um, my life story, but um, also, you know, because it starts also from the depth of, uh, you know, from what, you know, with my parents and my sisters. Uh, so it actually gives an insight as to the background of um, a lot of things that have transpired in my life and also, in, you know, that have affected my sisters as well, you know, in good and bad. So it's, uh, it's just a way of just, uh, you know, telling a story and also to assist others in, uh, because it's also a bit of a self-help book. You see, it has explanation at the end of each chapter to relate, you know, to people in knowing their own story as well. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, what the book is about. It's just uh, yeah, a way of, uh, you know, also letting my family know what, uh, you know, what also transpired there. Yeah, good one. So now you were born in Italy, is yeah. that right? That's um, right. And so the book talks about the challenges you had as a child, and you were a little bit of a rebellious child, weren't you, Rocco? Well, I was in some ways, but I, I kind of look at myself more as a curious. You know, I was quite curious about different things, and you know, also you know, emotions. I think a big part of what humans are. So, you know, it, you know, there were different things that kind of attracted me to, and at the time I didn't know why, but I was curious to know why people reacted differently. And, you know, so I was curious, I think, more in understanding about myself, but also understanding others. Yeah. And I think sometimes that got me into, you know, a little bit of trouble. <laughs> yes. But uh, I think, it, you know, it was not uh, intentionally, it was just something that, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's just uh, something, a part of me that uh, I suppose has helped me to get what I am now. Yeah. So, so what, I mean, what would you say then, I mean, of your experiences as a child, what do you think really started to shape the person you are today and, and sort of put you in a position now where you feel like you've got something that you can share? What, what do you think were some of the key things that happened as a child that really sort of started that belief system? Uh, well, I think, uh, you know, the, the, the beauty about it, you know, from even from in which I didn't actually realise until I actually finished the books and really started reading it, it's just that uh, I had, you know, really a great support, but at the same time there was a lot of uh, uh, things that happened that kind of challenged, you know, the course of, you know, my beliefs and, you know, my wise, you know, in choices or path that I wanted to go on. So that's really uh, what really shaped me, and I, you know, and there were times that it just was quite challenging and made it hard for me to say which way to go. But I could see both sides, and you know, it, it just, you know, and that was really what uh, makes me understand now what life is about. That you know, there's always choices there, and um, it's just a way of um, really defining who we are by choosing a path that really suits not just us, but supports, you know, the people around us and uh, eventually, you know, even the world and uh, the environment. Yeah, good, mate, good. Um, and what was it that inspired you to want to write a book? I mean, has, has that been something you've always wanted to do or did it just come to you in a moment of inspiration? What was the trigger for that? Well, it wasn't something that I really planned for. I mean, I do, rem I do recall that there was one time that... I had this feeling and thoughts that, you know, a book, I was going to write a book, which I had no idea what it was about. And I do talk about that in the book. But at the same time, it's just uh, I had a sense that I wanted to help, you know, through my own experience, I wanted to help people that did not have that support, you know, within their own families or, you know, their community. 
So I really wanted to help those people, you know, probably get some sort of uh, support and idea on how to understand their own lives and how to understand. Because when people, uh, my understanding is when sometimes people get caught up into the bad habits and, and that's all they can see in themselves. But, you know, I do believe there's goodness in everybody and that I really wanted to show people that uh, that is an important aspect that needs to be looked at and, lived, you know, needs to be emphasised to actually really improve our own, you know, self-awareness and how we actually connect and communicate with everything else around us. Yeah, that's a wonderful message, mate, and it's so good that you're helping people see that good in, in their lives. Now, tell us a bit about the journey of writing a book. I mean, that... Uh, I'm sure that was a journey. I mean, as an author, I know that writing a book has got its ups and downs and challenges. So tell us a little bit about the journey and then and then the feeling of having that published book and holding it in your hands. Oh, well, the journey was, uh, when I first wrote it the first time, it kind of, it was very simple and I just did it very quickly. But I just really, fo- at that time, I really focused on putting facts, really not, not a story. So then when I, I realized that it was not something that was really, you know, people just don't like to read the facts. They want to read the story. And when I decided to rewrite it, it really hit me a lot harder because it's just, you know, getting a feeling of writing the book and having to rewrite it, then, you know, it just becomes a much bigger challenge. Well, for me, it became a much bigger challenge. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, with help and support, it, uh, I managed to get there, you know, from yourself as well. And, uh, well, most of all from from yourself, what you say. Also, oh, and, your, and your beautiful uh, wife, Marie. But, yeah, but also, as I was going to mention, also my wife, because she's, you know, you know, my English not being my first language, um, she's actually helped me through even, you know, a lot of writing prior to writing the book to, you know, correcting my grammar and, my, you know, my phrases and things. So it's, uh, you know, she's been quite a, a lot of great help in that as well and also, you know, kind of eliminating, you know, because I also put a lot of uh, different stories in there and she kind of, you know, she kind of uh, had to eliminate some to make the book, you know, a little bit uh, more uh, construct, you know, constructive and, uh, you know, more powerful but not having as much, but just, you know, having what's you know, necessary to be in there. So it's, uh, it's been a hard journey, but, you know, until it was actually finished, um, you know, it was hard to really appreciate the full effort of it. So, yeah, I'm glad I got to this stage now that where I can appreciate the, the efforts of it. Yeah, well, I mean, I can certainly test a bit of testament to the change that you've gone through because I remember when we f- first started working together and you had, you had to make some pretty confronting changes to your book that yeah. I know were challenging for you, mm. um, but, but I love the fact that you just said, no, I've got to do what I've got to do, and you just got to be out the work. And I think that's, again, that's another, there's another lesson in there, not just that's probably within the book, but around the whole journey of writing a book and the changes you need to make, and it's about persistence, and certainly when you're mm. trying to find a publisher, that can be quite a frustrating process as well. So I, I want to know, when you opened that box with your book for the first time and you had held that book in your hands for the first time. Tell me, how did that feel? Well, when I actually received the box, I just was really quite surprised and I said, wow, you know, they're here because it's really hard to, for me, it was hard to really believe that even I finished the book until I actually received it. So, you know, getting the box was just there. But at the same time, there was mixed emotions because I think writing about myself and, you know, why opening up to the world, you know, um, it was great, you know, great to receive the book, but at the same time, there's an overwhelming feeling that you just wonder how, you know, people are going to react and, you know, and, you know, so it's, you know, there's been a bit of mixed feelings in there uh, because uh, when you open up to the world about your life, you just become, you know, public for people to, you know, analyse and, you know, um, Criticize and say if you know if they choose to you know what you've done or you know or make a, make a judgment. So there was mixed feelings there. And that's something that I knew I had to deal with. But uh, at the same time, my commitment was to assist the ones that are interested in actually helping themselves. So you know, and that's really you know the benefit of actually seeing the book, uh, receiving the book, and actually you know being able to do something that you know for somebody that uh, might be has not had you know, did not feel that, you know, they got uh, feedback or, 
support from somebody, you know, from anybody in their lives. Yeah, good on you, mate. And, and you're right, you're so right, because, I mean, you are putting yourself out there and you're making yourself very vulnerable to, to criticism. But here's the thing, if you don't put it out there, then you'll never be able to help anyone. So, so what you've done, Rocco, is amazing. And I know your book's wonderful. I've, I've, read, it, I've read probably read it more than once as we went through the editing developing process. So I know what an inspiring book it is and how well re- written it is and how much how enjoyable and engaging it is. So I know that everyone's going to really enjoy it. So Rocco, um, people that are watching this right now and going, I want to get a copy of Never Alone, how do they do that? Uh, Well, it can be gotten from uh, my webpage. Uh, Also, there's there's a, you know, a few, there's some uh, books, you know, you can get it from bookstores. Uh, And uh, if you can't get it from there, also, you know, it can be, as I mentioned, my webpage also there's also you know it's available on uh, Kindle as well for people that live you know away from Perth. So it's uh, yeah it's quite available in uh, in you know different parts in different ways. Where, what's your website, Rocco? The website is www.rockocaratosola.com, and uh, yeah, it's uh, also got my Facebook page which is uh, Rocco Caratosola author. So that's. Um, yeah. A lot of information is available on both of those. And uh, so, yeah, please um, have a look and uh, see what you think. Wonderful. Love well, Rocco, feedback. sorry, sorry, interrupt. I would love to hear some feedback if uh, people choose to, yeah, to do that. I'm sure they will. Anyway, mate, look, I just want to say well done again. Congratulations on um, this amazing achievement of becoming an author. I know your book's going to impact many lives, and I know you will go on and write many more books as well. But uh, look, mate, just thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to hearing more of your success. Thanks, Rocco. Thank you, Andrew. I really appreciate your uh, support. You're welcome.